We just ran into Patrick McMullen at Design Miami, the most famous, celebrated, and the origin, really, of social photography. Uh, so, Patrick, how do you like Miami compared to New York? Well, I love Miami. Let me say that right away. But, you know, the most famous photographer of Miami is Manny Hernandez, who's oh, right Manny. here. He <laughs> aspires to be like me. True. No, but he is. He's, and, you know, every town has got, like, the person that yeah. knows everyone. And that remembers, and if they don't know, like they'll see, like even you, when I met you, I said, who are you? You look fabulous, you know? And then it turns out we have 10 friends in common. At least. Which is kind of the way, what is good about social photography. It's not that you're talented, it's just that you have that memory for the details and the interest and in putting everybody together. Yes. But Miami, I love. New York is like a, a, your first wife, your wife that makes you work hard, makes you go to dinner parties, makes sure you're dressed right, buys you the best clothes. Miami is like the luxurious mistress who says, relax, go a little later, you don't have to go. <laughs> she's pretty, she's calm. Have another glass of champagne. <laughs> she's, yeah, she wears blues and comfortable clothes, so mm -hmm. it's like having a mistress. So Miami is the mistress city, New York is the wife city. I love it. I think that's the best analogy I've ever heard. I don't know. I was thinking about it, and, and, uh, and that's the way I feel. I bought an apartment here. I so know. I am a Miami resident. I love it. Well, we can't wait to have you down here more often. This design fair, come on. There's some amazing stuff here that you just want to go crazy. I know. I would love to be able to drop $300,000 on a coffee table. Well, I think, you know, why not? Depends on whether you'd have to have good coffee then. <laughs> But no, I guess it, may, it doesn't may, always make sense. But if you buy $25 million paintings, like Gilbert Harrison, who invented all the most famous designers in the world, why not have a $500,000 table, right? Absolutely. Did you see the girls that made the, la the lights that the bubbles come out of? That is the coolest thing I've seen Where so far. Oh, it's oh. right over there. You gotta see that, and they're beautiful girls. You gotta talk to them. But I suggested that they have it at a table, a dinner table, with a little thing in the middle so that it could drip in the middle, because imagine you having a serious conversation, and then the bubble drops. You, everybody would I be like- it. I love it, Patrick. No, That's why you are creative. She said, that's a great idea. We'll make a table to go with this lamp. But this is exciting. You got to see the bubble I'll drop. Thank you so much for She's talking so to hard. us, Patrick. And thank you for talking to us, Gilbert. It's a surprise interview. <laughs> His wife Enjoyed just it. bought a $500,000 coffee I'm table. I'm going to look at him right now. <laughs> Bye, guys. All right, good to see you. That was funny because it was like right on like cue, you know? Well, that's why I say you never know who you're going to run into at Art Basel Miami, clearly. And uh, at the design part, which is day one, yes. really. Not day two, really, but... But no, this is, it's, it's amazing furniture, amazing jewelry, amazing art, amazing people. I mean, if this is going to go on soon, then I'm telling you, everybody should run over and see things. So you can find things that are maybe not 50000 but maybe 500 that are similar, mm -hmm. but they might go up in value. That's right. If you have the eye to look at the things that are nice. See? That's what well, I do. Thank you for talking to us, Patrick. We can't wait to see you more this week.